again Netanyahu and the, the government of Israel is dragging the, the whole region. They are trying to and provoking the situation in the West Bank, as we just said. They are provoking uh, the Lebanese side and you are following the bombardment. The Syrian side, you are following the, bomb the Israeli bombardment. Uh, now uh, Iraq is engaged, now Yemen is engaged, so this is becoming uh, 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 regional and the key constant factor between all those in Gaza and the West Bank in the region is Netanyahu's insistence to drag the West into his immoral wars so he stays in government and so he is the one who is waging a war. His calculation is so long as the war continues, so long as the war grows, he will continue being the Prime Minister. And, and Gaza is so resilient and Palestine is so resilient and, uh, you know, we will recover. We will recover and we will rise. This is not the first time. This is not the first time. But you have a very exceptional situation of a people that have gone to, through so many traumas and have developed together a sense of togetherness and a sense of unity and a sense of survivability. Uh, and we are equipped with roots and history and traditions and norms and sense of solidarity together that allow us to come back uh, and to thrive. And, you know, we use this example, you know, Jesus Christ was born in Palestine. So we have an experience with resurrection ourselves. So Gaza will resurrect. Palestine will resurrect. Israel has managed to mix and conflate three things together. First is what is Jewish with what is Zionist and with what is Israeli. So if you criticize Israeli policies, you will be immediately anti-Semitic. So this conflation have, have caused a great deal of stifling the debate and scaring everybody to engage in a conversation about Israel's policy, not Israel's identity. It is not the identity of our oppressors that is at stake here. It is the fact of our oppression. So it's, it's ridiculous to assume, Riz, that had our oppressors not being Jewish, we would have been okay with it. No, because they are occupiers because they are colonizers, because they are besiegers, regardless of their uh, faith, regardless of their identity. UNRWA is a lifeline for millions of Palestinian refugees. So for some governments to suspend based on allegations of few individuals, and still the UN is investigating these uh, allegations and uh, engage in collective punishment of an organization that is uh, a UN organization that has 30,000 employees because of a handful. They are talking about, uh, in effect, 10 of them uh, is really beyond any comprehension. This is not policy, this is revenge. Ambassador, I also know you don't like the idea of a two-state solution. Explain that logic. Because it gives the impression that there are uh, no states and then we need to create two states. There is already a state existing, that is Israel, and that state is occupying another state that is existing, but in the UN and in the recognition of the international community and in our rights. So uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a situation of ending occupation of one state to the other state. That's, that's the actual uh, uh, conversation.